I'm just testing out makeup, guys. <laughs> I look like a wrestler. <laughs> Yes, I, I do like this, though, my my goth boutique here. I'm just testing stuff out here. I don't want, I'm not doing full face. I kind of like this design, even though it looks like shit, but hey. The only thing I don't like is that from LA Girl, it goes down so quick. And now I know why it's called Black Magic. It has glitter in it. This one has glitter. It's not that bad. And then I got um this lip liner. They go, these gel ones, you can't sharpen, so it goes all down. But they're softer. Intense Stay Auto Liner. I don't know what that auto liner means, but this is unlimited wine. And then I um, got this in Bite Me. I kind of like the color. I like Bite Me. I got this like Bordeaux color, but I don't like it because after a while, it gets sticky and clumpy. And I'm not sure about this. I don't like mate lipstick so much because my lips are so dry. So I need like Vaseline or something. I went to CVS. So I got this for like $1.99. Like I said, they put it as an Easter basket stuffer. Which I don't know. It says um, partner up. It is a cooling moisture stick. But that will be good for me. And then I got a primer stick. I wonder if I could put this over my lips. The prime for lipstick. Um, and then I got the Rimmel Stay Me Liquid Foundation and Fair Ivory. And I tested it, like, in this area here. I don't know if you can see it. see my scuzzy hair, but, like, in here, you can tell. I just did that just to test. And it's light enough, I think. It's light enough. I just did a witch's wart over my zit. People used to do that. I, yeah, but I kind of bled it in here. And I just decided to do quite crazy. I mean, for a Halloween look, I think they'll be fine. But for every day, my everyday, like, gothic, like, look, I would just keep this. Because I kind of like what I did. Yeah, I did. Uh, and then I got these clean it wipes so I can wipe my nose. Maybe you can wipe your ass with it. I don't know. But, all right. And I also got this to spray myself. Um, soothing Mist. Is that I love rose water. My witchy needs. Um, got this waterproof makeup. I got this instead of the other one because some of the stuff I get so I can get like mascara. Right now I'm learning for the Rumble mascara because it was like two for four bucks because like one you're like five ninety nine so I got two for four bucks and this is really pretty well. I just I just got lazy ass today so I got this cute little peeps, cute little peeps little thingy. Um, I got this poof, poof to wash my face. I had black, but it was too much money. I got the 99 cents poof. I don't know why they call it poof. But yeah, that's what I, I got. And then yesterday, I got a goth outfit. This is the test of time. It's lips stay. So far, it's staying. Kudos to that. I got a goth outfit. Um... I, let me think here. Hmm. I think I'll show you what I got. Um, I think tomorrow when I feel like it, show you what I got at the thrift, the thrift store. I got Banana, Banana Republic shirt. That's like, like a brownish color with black. It looks good, like a tan and black. It was a really cool shirt. And a little um, sh um, shearing in the back. Then I got this, uh, like, it's supposed to be, like, it's, like, a brain fart. Um, oh, yeah, it's from, um, Old Navy. But it's, like, a sports thing, but has, like, cool, like, netting in the back. Kind of reminds me of, like, um, fishnets. And then I got this cool little, um, tool skirt from, I don't know. It was stretchy enough so it fit me. So uh, right now I can fit in X large. Sometimes juniors too. I can fit in X large and juniors, depending, just depending. So, um, this is a juniors shirt right here. I got the junior section. I, I like that, so I got it at Marshalls. Cheap. I mean, good stuff. That's 
on sale, but it says beach days and reminds me so much of the late 80s, early 90s. Like, for me, I grew up in the 90s. I grew up on alternative 90s music. Like, some stuff I listened to, I didn't know it was goth music. I didn't know what type of music it was. I didn't know. To me, it was just music. Like, I grew up on Ozzy Osbourne. I grew up on Led Zeppelin, The Beatles, um... <sighs> Aerosmith, all my parents' albums that they had when they were kids, I listened to them because they still have a phono player. And I love Gary Newman. Like when I was a kid, 80s, I used to watch 80s music videos. I remember watching Hungry Like a Wolf and like the Yes, Owner of Lonely Heart. I hate that song. The video like, kind of freaked me out. In the end, the guy commits suicide. It's kind of freaky. And I'm watching it as a kid. Like, the bangles. Oh, I love the bangles. We had the tape and everything. And, like, Garbage, when they first come out. Oh, my God, that album was rocking. And they went sort of popish. I wish they kind of stuck to that. But they didn't. But, hey. You know, back in Landis Morissette back in the day. Yeah, that was me. Like, Placebo. And I remember, like, FNX. That's now defunct. Now it's like a religious station. And then 104.1. Used to be alternative, WBCN used to be alternative, but then it just went pop. I used to listen to Oldies 103, went pop. Now I have to listen to other because I used I grew up on Oldies like 60s, 70s, and 80s when I was growing up, and some 90s, but it was mostly old bands from the 60s. Like I'm just an old soul. I feel like I was born in the wrong decade. And yeah, I was, I was pretty like born in the wrong decade, I think. I still have that feeling. Ever since I was a kid, I feel like I was born in the wrong decade. Is that like birth dysphoria? Where you feel like you're in the wrong decade and you're supposed to be born in another decade? Is that a dysphoria? <laughs> or is that like a second life? Because I did at 10 years old. Get this. I was going to the bathroom. I know. Gross as it hurt. I remember this clear as day. I was being buried alive. I'm like, I'm not dead yet. It happened to me twice, that, that, that vision. Um, oh, my God. I would never do the Ouija board again. I, all this freaky shit that happened to me. I did auto riding. I did this. They talked to me. I was attacked when I was with my ex-boyfriend. I'm like, ex? I think it was um, a succubus or incubus. I think it was an incubus because it wasn't a succubus because it would be a female. It just got like a little boy. Blah, 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 blah. Um, I still talk, I can still sense, like, I have a sense, like, if someone dies, they come to me. Kid ghosts are attracted to me. I don't know why. I know. This makeup is probably annoying. You look like I'm all right, because I just did this. This just test. I kind of like it. It's, like, it's light enough. It's cheap, but, yeah. Because I got a $10 off coupon, and I got more coupons. $6, $5. Yeah. But... This is I know it's shitty, but this palette that I just got here like for four ninety nine reminds me so much of the eighties. I full circuits, wet and wild pump. I, I just love it. I love the the eyeshadow. I'll try it out. Oh, it came out really cool. You saw the the other video that I did. Oh my god! And I got an incense burner. I can't wait to do my witchy things again. I'm a witch at heart. I'm always I'm a witch. I haven't really been practicing witchy things because I just need a, a place to do it. I mean, get materials and all that shit. And I hope you guys don't see commercials because I refuse. I refuse to get monetized. I'd rather work my ass off than get money by just doing videos. I don't like, co I don't like commercials. That's corporate. That's shit. I'm not going to have commercials interrupt things and you have to listen to you know all that shit like if i want to see commercials while i'm watching things i'll watch regular tv if i want commercials oh corporate shit stupid trump stupid politics there was this card i was gonna get because i really like it. it's like a little bird told me it was your birthday but then he started talking politics so i went indoors I like that card. I really do. It's like a vintage like look. Kind of reminds me of like precious moment like look. Oh my god. That was classic. Classic. I hate politics. I don't care about president. I don't really I don't want to vote. I don't care. 
and you're gonna you know go yeah 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 today well, I don't fucking care because the people I vote for never win. I hate to break it to you, but Hillary scared me. She scared me. She didn't seem I don't know. She just didn't. She didn't really speak to me. I had to have a female president. Just because she's female doesn't mean she's going to make a great president. People want a female president. Well, that's that's good. That's good. But you, they have to be qualified. You have to be qualified. You can't just vote for someone because they're female. They have to be qualified. I mean, Warren's okay. I want to vote for Bernie Sanders. I'm sorry. He sounds a lot better than Trump. He may be crazy out there. My aunt's cousin, my aunt daughter, my great aunt's daughter dated his son. Ha, ha, ha. I hate politics. I would be a better president because I would listen on both sides. And you know what? President fucking Trump, he needs to get the money for the wall, not Mexico. Okay. I'm done with politics. I'm done with that. I'm working on an art project. I need it. I did the cutouts. All I need now, all I need now from the cutouts is, um, which I'm going to call it. Oh, I got glue or stick already. I need a paper, like a canvas or something to put my work. I used to do this in high school, like in like grade school and middle school and during like free time. We had like free time, like eighth period, like free time. And my teacher was an art, Mr. Reed, who was an art teacher. And he was my, I think seventh or eighth grade. He was my art teacher. And we were, get to be in the art room in our last period. So I did all these fun collages. You know, remember Sassy Magazine? Oh my God, they're like Scott Whalen from Stone Temple Pilots and all that. Okay, some of the bands I might name might not be goth, but I don't fucking care. I don't care. I just love music. Why there are labels? I don't know. You're not goth enough. You're not this, you're not that. Well, who gives a damn? If you think you're goth, then be goth. If you think you're alternative, be alternative. If you think you're emo, be freaking emo. Be a freaking scene kid. Be freaking visual K. Whatever. I don't care. At the end of the day, if you're a nice person, that's all I care about. Yes. Okay. Enough of my ranting and raving. I am done and I am going to drink my old fashioned Coca Cola I got at 7 Eleven. And oh, I got this big ass, um, also. I got this big ass thing from CBS of baby wipes because it looks be it works better on my skin. And I'd rather have the, instead of the small ones, the big large ones so I can just <laughs> and done. Because it's a bitch. Like, mascara is a bitch to take off. Makeup is such a bitch to take off. Especially if it's waterproof. Oh my freaking god. That is such a bitch to take off. A bitch. And this is going to be a bitch. You know, I get this is what happens when I get bored and I want to try things out. I get home and do this. Yeah, it's like yeah. This is what this is what like a three year old would do, and she got in her mom's makeup, like a five or six year old. If she got in her mom's makeup, this is what they'll do. <laughs> but I do like this. I like this part right here. I'm very quite happy with this. This gotta go. This gotta go. I look like a wrestler, one of those, like the Undertaker's daughter or something. WWF. Yeah, I used to love Hulk Hogan. I remember like uh, all those old wrestlers in the early '90s and '80s. That was me. My sister used to make fun of like figure skaters. <laughs> we watched it used to be big on Olympics and the Oscars and the Grammys, but not anymore because all's gone down the tubes. Yeah, okay, I think I gotta go. It's too long. Bye!